Hello friends, in this video we will consider two objectives. The first objective is to reverse the given number and the second objective is to calculate sum of digits for the given five digit number. So let's consider one example. If, if number is like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the first objective is to reverse it. So the output should be like this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and the second objective is to calculate sum of all these digits which is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, 15, right? So now uh, here we are not going to use loops. Uh, the objective is to appreciate and understand the use of this operators, arithmetic operators. So in C basically five arithmetic operators are there, uh, namely multiplication, division, modulus operator, addition and subtraction. Okay? And if we talk about priority, then priority of these three operators, right? is more as compared to this two addition and subtraction. So that means if five operators are given uh, or present in the expression then first we will uh, first we will consider this three and then this two and for other similar uh, type of uh, operator for example if you have more than one multiplication symbol in the expression then we will evaluate them left to right right so that is that is the rule. Right? And same is true with uh, addition as well as subtraction. Okay? So now uh, before we go further, let us understand how modulus operator works uh, because that is important in order to solve this particular problem. So let us say first number is 15 and second number is 3. Since modulus is again a binary operator, two operands are required. So that let us say the first operand is 15 and second operand is 3 and if we apply modulus between them then mainly we are going to get the remainder after performing division of 15 by 3. So if we divide 15 by 3 then since 15 is divisible by 3 we will get 0 as the answer. If we divide the same number by 2 and then if we talk about this modulus operation then we will get 1 because 2 into 7 is 14 and remainder is after performing this division remainder is 1. So the remainder is our answer which is nothing but 1 in this particular case. Uh, similarly, let us say number is like this 21 and we apply modulus let us say 6. Then 6 into 3 is 18 so remainder is 3 right and so on. So again uh, it is possible to consider negative numbers also. So for example, you can think about this also. Uh, what will happen if you divide minus 15 by 2, right? So 2 into minus 7 is minus 14 and the remainder will be minus 1 and so on. So it is possible that uh, any one or both of the operands are uh, negative. That is, that is also allowed. But uh, real numbers are not allowed. So for example, if you try to find out this 15.3 modulus 2, then this is not uh, allowed in, in C programming. Okay. So uh, now let us think again go back to the problem and let us think uh, how modulus operator can help us in solving this particular question. So here the idea is uh, if, if we consider the uh, program 6 where uh, we are supposed to calculate addition of this numbers then addition will happen only if we can get this numbers individually, right? So the question is like this, the revised question is like this, let us say one number is given, let us say number is simple like for example, let us say 56. How to get these two numbers, 5 as well as 6? And uh, the hint is we are going to use this modulus operator. So let us try, if, if we perform this modulus operator with uh, respect to 10 for the given number, then what will happen? First, we will divide this number by 10, and so 10 into 5 is 50 and remainder is 6. So, we will get 6 and as you can notice, we have, we have obtained this last or least significant digit by performing this modulus operation. Now, the next objective is to obtain this 5. So, how to get it? If we, if we perform modulus 10, then we will get again 56 because this number is greater if, if, if whenever we perform this modulus operator let us say a modulo b and if a is uh, smaller than b then your answer will be a because basically b will not be able to divide a in that particular case and we, we, we will go with this particular scenario where b into 0 is 0 and we will we'll obtain the same number as a reminder. So this is the case here, we are, uh, 56 is less than 100 so we will get 56 as our answer. So uh, it's not not working like this, right? So now again the question remains: How how can we get this particular 
digit 5 so no problem with respect to 6 it is easy to get so, uh, if, we, if we again go back to our question then we can obtain 5 but how to obtain 4 that is the question so what we can do we can modify the original number because we know the process we know how to obtain the last digit of any given number by performing modulus 10 but uh, we do not know how to obtain the second last number. So, what we can do if we can somehow change the number like this if my number is 1, 2, 3, 4 then I can easily get 4 because I know the process by performing modulus 10 I will I will be able to get 4 right. So, next what we can do we can divide the number by 10. So, what will happen if we divide the number by 10 in this particular case we will get 1, 2, 3, 4 because we are assuming that uh, numbers are saved in form of integer here. So now the modified number is 1, 2, 3, 4 and here again we can repeatedly apply the same idea where we can perform this modulus 10 and obtain the last digit and then finally we will be able to add them and get this particular answer. The similar idea is applicable here also. So here also uh, what we can do, we can obtain these numbers and uh, along with obtaining them we are somehow need to make sure that the reverse number is generated in this manner right. So that place value is modified accordingly that, that we need to make sure. So now let us now let's see the code and try to understand the remaining aspect with respect to this particular problem. So if we, if we talk about addition, the, so this is reverse of a uh, reverse code, reverse how to obtain the reverse number that is that is here and this is with respect to how to do addition of this uh, numbers. And as you can see in this variants, uh, in, in one of the uh, solution I have mentioned this bracket and in the second solution I haven't mentioned uh, bracket, I haven't used brackets. But still uh, I will get this correct answer because, uh, because of the rules associated with this operators. The rules are like this, if uh, the objective was to understand use of this operators and as you can see here there are three different operators right, uh, modulus operator, then addition operator, then um, uh, division operator right, those three operators are present in this uh, solution and if you see here then here as, as you can see one more operator is present which is nothing but multiplication. So now let us understand this solution first. So here what we are doing here first we are finding out a modulus 10 so that is nothing but 5 but now we, we are interested in finding out 4 so for that first we will divide the number by 10 and then the number will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and then we are performing this modulus operator right. So by performing modulus 10 we will repeatedly get the correct answer but in order to get to that particular digit we are accordingly dividing the number by 10 or 100 or 1000 and 10,000 so on so, so that we can uh, modify the existing number and get the last digit of that particular modified number. And in, in summary, we will be able to get all the digits of, of uh, the existing number by performing this operations. So this is all about this particular program and here as you can see uh, the precedence is like this, uh, uh, the, the higher precedence is to modulus uh, as well as division operation, uh, operators. So basically this will be performed first and addition will be executed afterwards and for similar type of operators uh, we will follow left to right rule. So first this modulus will be executed, then this division, then this modulus and so on and finally uh, addition will be performed between these five numbers. So it, it makes sense also because if you, if you perform addition without evaluating this division as well as modulus then we will get some uh, different wrong answer right. So that is the idea. And now uh, in the case of reverse number uh, the similar thing which uh, we are doing but here what we need to do, here we need to multiply by factor of 10. So, uh, this is corresponding to make sure that uh, actual reverse number is correct right because we, we are also supposed to give place value not just uh, uh, it is it's actual value right. So, uh, for example here what, what we are doing we are performing a modulus 10 so we will get this particular 5 but in, in the reverse number of location of 5 will be in, in the beginning so we need to multiply it by 10,000 to make sure that uh, it is at correct location in the reverse number right and 
so that's it thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, before that let's let's also verify whether actually this program gives us correct answer or not so as you can see the reverse number is like this 54321 and for this particular program let's check right so it's 15 which is nothing but addition of these numbers so we'll again uh, do the same thing when when we understand use of loops right so edit uh, it will uh, so this is very basic version where uh, the statement is very fixed right the number is fixed of length 5 but in, uh, we should be able to do the same task for any given number of any length right so that we will see in future